Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to make your home a little bit smarter. Yes, what seemed like a fantasy just one generation ago is now actually really easy to do. So let's consider our lights in our house. We want to set them up, make them very easy to control from anywhere in the home. And why not? Let's make it for any and all of the lights that we want to do. Also, hey, I'd love to make this workable for my cell phone from anywhere I happen to be in the world. If you thought this might be a hard thing to accomplish, consider this. Actually, the physical activity that you need to do here is no harder than just generally replacing a switch on the wall. Technically, the only real major difference here is that your normal switch just uses the line slash load lines to operate and cut off the power. But for this particular switch, you do need to go ahead and connect to a ground wire and a neutral wire. Important safety reminder, every set of instructions for a switch that you pick up is going to remind you that you need to cut off the power to the outlet or the switch at the fuse box before you begin taking things apart. So, how to identify the wires that you need to be connecting? Well, usually tucked inside, you're going to find a set of copper wires, that's going to be the ground, some typically white wires, which are going to be the neutral, and you've already got the line or load wires that are connected to your original switch. This is very easy to connect to the new device because it spells out really clearly on the back of the new switch exactly what needs to be connected where. You'll notice that there are three wires connected to my old switch. Some switches only have two, but this one has three. So I'm keeping the two that are currently connected at the same spot together and I will connect those to one of the black wires or live lines coming out of the new switch. The other wire will just be connected to the second live load wire coming out of the new switch. Simply put the wires together that you need to connect and use the provided caps to screw down and cover off the connection. The neutral lines inside my wall already were capped off with a quick connect type device that had one extra spot. So all I had to do was push the white wire inside. Before you do anything else, this switch should already be ready and working to make your lights go on and off. Awesome. Now we just have to shove all the wires back in the wall and then use the screws to secure our new switch. So I just installed the TP-Link switch, which actually works on an app that's called Casa Mobile. This is actually available free in the app stores that are available to you for your particular phone or device, but other types of switches usually come with some kind of a free software download as well. In addition to that, you can actually go ahead and connect this to your home hub or Alexa device so that you can use voice controls to turn your lights on and off as well. Each app may work a little bit differently, but the good news is all you have to do is follow the prompts that are provided from the app to add your new device. The wonderful thing about these kind of devices is there are multiple types and multiple functions that you can put together, including plugs that can be used outside. In a previous video, which is linked in the description below, I show how you can actually control your outside lights and decorations using the exact same app. So remember how I said I wanted to be able to control my lights from anywhere? Well, as long as you have a connection on your phone, no matter where you are, you open up the app and hit that on off button and the lights in your home turn on and off. You can also go back into the app and set up schedules so that your lights or appliances go on and off at the exact times that you want them to. 
And it's not just one set of schedules that you can do. You can set multiple different on-off times for different or specific days. Once you begin exploring the app, you're going to realize that there's a lot of other fun stuff in here. And I'm not going to go through all of it, but I did just want to point out that there is a tab where you can check on each device the runtime report. You can look at the complete history of the amount of time that any particular device has been on. Hey, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to stop by Dialed In DIY and checking out my video. While you're here, I'd really appreciate it if you'd click that thumbs up down there to let me know that you either stuck with the video or got something out of it. And then subscribe to my channel and make sure to ring the bell to get future notifications. And if you're interested in other types of DIY stuff, check out my playlists and see the different kinds of videos that I've been making. And as always, please remember to come on back because there will be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.